solution Hello and welcome to episode 26 of Rags to Riches with Blind Spartans. Now a quick recap is that we got promoted via the playoffs in season 1. Season 2 we finished 11th place in the division above the division that we are currently in. We are on the verge of finishing our third season and we are at the tail end. So we're going to recap the results since the last live comp against Kettering Town where we lost 2-0. And then we will get on into the match today against Salford, a team that of course is well known due to the Class of 92 and recently had a good run in the FA Cup before it being ended against Hartlepool. So here is the latest results and as you can see by all the reds on the right hand side, we've only won 7 games in the last 20 or so. So we lost 2-0 away to Kettering in the last live comp, then we beat 5th place Solihull Moors 4-3 with a late winner by Gareth Swan, Wolfie getting a double and Blackman also getting on the score sheet in that game and a very credible win to my side in that match. But disappointingly we played 16th place Southport in the next match and lost 3-1 away, then we lost to Stallybridge away 2-1. Very unlucky, we played okay, but a dreadful goal we gave away. Our boy done a throw in, Jordan Watson done a throw in to our centre half. The opposition striker nicked in and scored the goal after being through one on one. Now, we just play, played first place Halifax. Wolfie getting a double, Maguire getting a goal in the 80th minute, drew 3 3 in that game that saw us go behind on three separate occasions. So. Goals galore in all my recent matches, no clean sheet in the last five, lots of goals being scored and conceded. Three matches to go in the season, Salford were about to play in the live com, Worcester and Boston United to end the season. So here we are, Salford, we are about to play at Croft Park and as you can see we've played them three times and beaten them three times. On the right hand side is the league table, we currently sit 11th after 39 games, 16 wins all or more or less in the first half of the season. 7 draws, 16 losses. 55 points on the board. We are 7 points off the playoffs. Still possible, but it would take an almost almighty miracle for that to happen. We're playing Salford, who are currently sitting in 16th position, 10 points behind us. And notably, you will see that FC United and Manchester are 4 points deep into the relegation zone. And look almost on their way out of the league. But who knows, time to get into today's live com and let's see what happens today at Croft Park against the 4-4-2 of Salford. Now surprisingly having been down the bottom end of the table all season, Salford are 1-2 favourites, which is a strange one to me, but hey ho, we don't make the rules, that's the bookmaker's predictions. Now we have changed tactics again. This season I've changed tactics more than I have done probably in the last four or five years in Football Manager. Because we're conceding a lot of goals, I've decided to go five at the back, two centre midfielders. Ben Blackman, the right midfielder, I've tucked him in beside, or in behind rather, the strikers with Wolfie and Charman up top. Blackman has been sensational this season, but I will recap that on the end of season preview. So the boys have been briefed and I've told them that I fully expect a victory in today's match. Now, as usual, we have the assistant manager's report on the right-hand side. We have the match stats on the left-hand side. And the Lee picked in my assistant manager's feedback on the panel here with observation, performance and tactical analysis of what's happening during the game. And as you can see there, Matt Wolfenden has got a facial injury but he should be able to play on, although he has indicated he wants to come off and I will not let him come off this early. And 19 minutes, whoa, how did that get to 19 minutes so quickly? 19 minutes into the game, Salford lead 1-0 through Cosgrove. And I'm a bit puzzled how that went to 19 minutes so quickly. So there's the goal. Swing in corner from Downey, headed down by Watson, Cosgrove at the back post, sticks it in on his own to put Salford 1-0 up. 25 minutes gone here. Chandler, Polgar, Lowe, Cosgrove, Watson, 
into Hyam, low. And Nicholson takes it and puts it down the right hand side to Charman. Can he swing across and he can? And it evades everyone and goes to Waldron at the right back position. Parker. Salford having the best of the opening exchanges early on and 2 0 Salford. Christoph Polger, I believe he's a former Liverpool youngster. The second corner we have conceded a goal from Watson again when he in the air hits the bar. Polger two yards out, puts it across the goal. I don't know what's going on here. We're getting absolutely battered by Salford. Maybe there was something in those bookies' predictions. Blackman, Story, Parker, Semple. Parker again, to Charman, intercepted, low, Lynch, Hyam, Newbury intercepts, Story, forward to Blackman, who loses it, Turnbull, Story again, out to Nicholson, can he put a corner in, he can, and it's a goal, good goal, 20th goal of the season for the Wolf of Blythe Spartans, that is Matt Wolfenden, formerly of FC United of Manchester, a towering header, that the goalkeeper cannot get near. And it's 1-2. Bly Spartans to Salford's two goals. Surely not another goal from a corner. Downey. Puts in and nearly another header from low. Luke Charman is injured with a twisted ankle. So he will come off. And Dan Maguire will directly come on in his replacement. Recently back from injury. My left back, John Watson, having a stinker of a 5.9. Turnbull! Second goal of the season for Stephen Turnbull. Right on the edge of the box, 18 yards out, drills it into the bottom left and pulls it back to 2-2. You do not see many direct goals from free kicks in Football Manager 2016 like you did compare to FM15. And that is half time. We've brought it back to 2 all. Hopefully, we can go on to win this. 2-2, I'll make a couple of changes and we'll get straight back into it. So I made one substitution and that sees Jordan Watson come off in place of him. It comes on Sam Jefferson, the guy that we signed in the summer who's not really being used and we have told the fullbacks to overlap. Hopefully get a few more crosses in and get a goal similar to Matt Wolfenden's. 2-2, half time begins here at Croft Park, in a game that has seen Salford dominate the opening half, they will be disappointed to go in, not leading the way here. Story, Wolfenden. And down he puts it out. He doesn't. Blackman put that out and it was a goal kick to Salford. Stephen Turnbull with an 8.2 playing quite well. Alex Nicholson, one assist and a 7 so far in this game. Okay, we're going to make the final substitution. We're going to stick Wolfie to the centre attacking midfielder position because Blen ba Ben Blackman has not really had much effect in this game and this will see the young talent, Gareth Swan, come on the field. With 28 minutes to go, hopefully we can nick a win and get one more goal in this match. Downey, Weber, Danny Weber brought on, Chandler. Waldron, Watson, he's been heavily involved. Low, and Low puts it wide and it goes out for a corner, must have took a deflection. Down these corners have been deadly in this game today. Swan, very deep in his own half. Christoph Polger, the Salford player injured. Maguire, Nicholson. Oh, that was half a chance there. I'm going to tell the boys to push forward, but this is a game we should really be winning. But a game we're fortunate to be involved in. When you're 2 up, you should not really be going into the first half, ending at 2-2. Lynch with the corner. Parker. Pearson. Plays a long ball and gives it straight back to the opposition defender. Watson on the right-hand side. Chandler, Chandler again, Watson playing one twos, swings it in and it's over the bar, Ryan Watson is playing very well in this game, 
Okay, we're going to go attack for the last 14 minutes. Try and get the winner here. But if anyone's going to get it, it looks Salford to be more likely. They have really played well today. And there you go. Just as we say, it, Sam Cov Cosgrove with his 12th goal of the season. Danny Weber beats the offside trap of our back five who are in no man's land. Cosgrove from five yards out cannot miss. This is a joke. This is terrible. Turnbull. Semple plays it wide to low. Story. Turnbull. Tries to play a World Cup pass, but Weber is in and Pearson collects it. Roberts Nurse. Newbury. Wolfenden. Our passing has not been the best today. Tough times in this division. And there is it. Game over. Sam Crossgrove with his hat trick. And we've been beaten by another team below us in the league. And another dreadful loss. And another game where we concede a heart full of goals. And I'm very disappointed. Tried everything to stop conceding. Five at the back. It's just not happening. It looks like we're going to consolidate our place in the middle of the table. I've got to bear in mind the board prediction or ex expectation from the media also was to survive a relegation. And they say my job is very secure, but on a personal note, it's been a very frustrating and disappointing season, in particular the second half of it. So there you go, full time Blythe 2, Salford 4, at Croft Park, Sam Cosgrove with 5 key passes, a 9.5 average rating in the game, and 3 goals. That pushes Salford up 3 points, of course, but I think they still sit in 16th, and it pushes Blythe down. By one position to 12th, level with Gisley who are 11th and two games remaining. We have now lost more games than we've won and most of those losses have come in the second half of the season. So that's confirmation of the loss against Salford guys and the way form has been going. Look at that last 15-20 games have been absolutely awful. Loads of goals conceded. And if the way things are going, we're going to lose this double header away from home to Worcester and Boston. Anyway, so we will wrap up those two games. And the next episode, we will probably bring you the wrap-up review of the Season 3, or second season in the Vanarama Conference North. And then we will preview and look forward to Season 4 of Rags to Riches with Blythe Spartans. And thank you very much for checking it out. And thank you for being patient after no uploads in three days due to my work schedule and all around family things regarding Christmas etc coming up. Thanks, take care and I'll see you lot very soon.